Hello everybody. Purpose of the Great Pyramid. This version explains all miracles. I hope this video will be interesting for everyone who thinks that the official version is not quite well in explaining all questions about the Great Pyramid. Such as, why do we have Grand Gallery with a huge volume, 700 cubic meters? Why we have a complex antechamber right there? Why we have a hidden well with a grotto right there? Why we have a granite plug here? And probably the most interesting question, why there are air shafts in King's Chamber? Let's imagine ancient days in Egypt when a Pharaoh has left the capital with his army far away, five, seven days. And rebellion unexpectedly happened, or maybe enemies has entered the capital. In this case, Pharaoh's family member members and high priest they had hide themselves somewhere and the Great Pyramid was a great place for that. I will describe why I think so. There was an entrance, it, it had a it was a hidden entrance, it has a triangle shaped uh, door it was, was rotating along its central axis and we know that from Herodotus who visited Egypt in 5th century BC and he said it was um, impossible from from the ground to see the entrance so well it was polished so good that it, the entrance was invisible from outside but it still was rotating along its central axis that that means someone could enter and uh, leave the pyramid it was easily rotating by pushing on the side it, also it could be if someone decide to lock himself inside he could just put a little bar a little stone in the corner of this triangle shaped door and it will be very good um, a safe door from someone who tried to enter the pyramid from outside after all this group of people a high priest and the family member of the pharaoh has entered to to the pyramid and went down to the descending passage they could lock the entrance then they had to find the entrance to the well hidden why it was hidden because Al Mamun in 9th century when he unsealed the pyramid and entered here he digged around the granite plug to get have an access to grand gallery he didn't know about that about the grotto that's mean and it was on the grotto was on discovered only in 18th century. That's mean that this uh, entrance was very well hidden. They they had to go down so they had to climb up the group of people they had to climb up inside of the well and when the final the last person crossed the uh, grotto which which looks like this there is a granite plug and granite block right there they had to lock the entrance uh, in case if enemies or rebels will try to follow their path they could block it by with the granite block and it perfectly fits and it's uh, it's still remaining this granite block is still remaining there and there is a very it's a very good question to official version why do we need a granite block which allows us to block entrance to the well sh shaft from inside of the pyramid not from outside and but it's very well describes the theory that it the the great pyramid was a bunker in this case that's that's perfectly uh, this granite block fits this theory after that when when they have uh, get there they could stay they could stay inside of the uh, grand gallery or inside of the king's chamber and wait until the pharaoh will come back and defeat enemies or uh, suppress the rebellion but if they if the enemies will be good enough to break through this granite plug around or to break in the grotto they they this group of people had a chance to um, to save themselves inside of the king's chamber by locking the antechamber. Antechamber has this construction. It has a three gutters here on the wall. Also, it has a three 
uh, they could place the there was maybe there was a three bars on the top of it, and there was a rope which was pulling up and down the another three granite blocks. Right there was a three granite blocks inside of it, and and they were um, was they moved by uh, ropes from inside of the king's chamber. Why I think they are moved from inside of the chamber? Because this side of the wall it's completely flat and it's 90 degree right there. But this wall right there, this wall, it it looks like this. It has a one, two, three, four gutters for ropes and it has a shape of rope if you see. And recently about 70 years ago there was a reconstruction and they decided that it was there was just a crack and they decided to reconstruct it but initially uh, it looked like this you see there is a the shape like this why do we need this shape in case if there was a ropes if they will go here there is a 90 degree and very sharp angles it will be hard to pull up and down the rope and it, this uh, angle, this uh, corner could cut the ropes. That's why that it was that, that it was never here. That was uh, they they had a like um, um, the uh, kind of a flat surface which uh, allowed to pull up and down the the ropes, which were like connecting through these blocks um, through these bars on top and could move the uh, granite blocks, uh, kind of a doors, up and down to lock the entrance to the king's chamber, right there. Because, as I said, this picture, what you saw in the picture, is wall was this wall only only wall. This wall has this gutters for ropes. That means that the ropes was coming from inside. This is another quick question for official version why we have a ropes which were tied from inside to move up and down these granite blocks not from outside and um, that it will allow to uh, lock they they could lock themselves by moving down these granite blocks to the bottom it will be locking properly uh, on the bottom and if the enemies will try to move inside to break through that, they will have a very big problem. There is a, the floor is from done from granite. All these gray colors, dark gray is uh, granite. All light gray is limestone. Limestone is much much softer than granite. But because we have a granite stone here, they will try to break through. But this is granite blocks. It's very hard to break. So they will they will not be able to do that. If they will crack this limestone here and they will climb up to the top of the antechamber they would maybe will try to pull up this granite blocks to the up up right there but again they will have a problem because there is a ceiling on the top and the ceiling done not from the limestone but it's done from granite why it's done from granite because it will stop someone from attempt to um, to pull up all the three blocks to the top it will be just impossible to pull them up because they will f hit the ceiling. This describes why we have a ceiling done from granite, not from the limestone. Until they will sit here, the army could come from away from five, ten days away and just, uh, as I said, to defeat the enemies or uh, rebellion. They could, there's people for five, ten days. They could sit here and breathe with the air. Uh, uh, from the air shafts for if there's someone thinks that the air shafts was a observatory that the Great Pyramid was the observatory this is quite popular version but it's impossible f visually to see the stars from here from uh, from this point because for th this distance is about two meters or six feet six feet it goes horizontally and then turns 45 degree here 45 degree in case of southern air shaft and in case of northern there's another air shaft here and it's right there it goes up till here it has uh, 32 degree it also has horizontal first shape and then up and the size of air shaft is tiny it's only 21 by 21 centimeters 
that's mean for in a distance of 2 meters here and then turning 45 degree it's just impossible to see anything through from this point but it's quite well for air shaft another question why we have these gaps if you see there is a gaps or like kind of a holes in limestone which connecting the ceiling of the king's chamber and why all the horizontal blocks and all the blocks on the in the on the in the floor they are very well connected to each other but the blocks on top here on in the king's chamber they have a gaps about pretty big it has they have around 1 inch a diff, uh, different so this block there is another blocks little block standing here and the uh, distance between them is about an inch that's mean that the air from the grand gallery could easily go circulate here why we need it if enemies will figure out that someone is hiding themselves in the king's chamber and they are breathing with the air through the air shafts they will try to lock uh, or seal the air shaft from outside. If they will succeed in it, in this case this group of people will have a chance to breathe with air from the Grand Gallery. So this is the purpose of the Grand Gallery and all these holes inside the limestones, all these uh, gaps in the ceiling to make a uh, air flow, to, to, to give, give an uh, air for the people who is hiding themselves here in the King's Chamber. This is uh, my version that the uh, Great Pyramid was a bunker. I, and if there is a, any questions, please leave a comment, ask a question. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you.